Oh yeah, it's about to get real. You see back there what I'm doing? Well, guess what? I'm inspired to get my truck camper redone. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do the project planning like I'm going to do on my truck camper now. And yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff for my truck camper. So stay tuned on the next video. You're going to get to see the next thing that I do on my truck camper. want to learn how to do a remodeling project like I showed you that I did for the Airstream because that was a pretty big project and it's overwhelming and I still have things to do in there but I'm not worried at all because I know when I'm gonna do them and I know exactly what I'm gonna do so I want to show you the way that I project plan with my truck camper these are part-time things that we do to our campers and then we walk away from them for a while and then we come back and we're like oh what's next so this is the way that I plan my projects in my GoodNotes app in a digital notebook and I'm going to show you how I do it today so that way you can keep organized with your projects the way that I do with mine. I'm going to uh, type in the word truck camper and get a little bit bigger and I'm going to get the style button because I'm going to change the color to I want to make it pink because I love pink in my truck camp. Hit the lasso and I'm going to grab the text move it over. Copy and I'll put it here because I know that it starts here and it ends over here. So I'm going to hit uh, the plus image uh, camera and I'm going to I'm photographing the cabinets right now. I'm going to use the photo. And then I'm going to resize it. Okay, that's a pretty big. I'm actually going to crop this a little bit because I got too much of this here. I don't need. All right. So, in this area here, there's a lot that I want to do. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Resize. I'm going to uh, pick a pen color, I'm going to pick black, and I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to put in the word whitewash, whitewash wood, and then I have this little, that little glass vase that I like a lot, but in a camper it doesn't work. So I'm going to try to find something that's more country looking, it's uh, galvanized galvanized um, um, base backsplash here I painted this this border was here but I never finished it so I'm going to do an arrow from here to here is recoat paint and wax and then I'm also going to extend that and I'm going to put this um, trim edges because right at this edge here you see right at this edge I painted up to there put some tape but I really want to go over that and I think I want to use paint marker for that and trim edges so I'm going to write here paint marker paint marker and then this is something I have to buy. So I'm going to make a star here. That knows I, that got, that's got to go on a, on a buying me list. Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, in this kitchen area. We're pretty good. I think everything is good here. Now I'm going to photograph that uh, curtain that's there. I got the photo. I'm going to hit use photo. Crop this all the way down to just the curtain. Okay, so there's the curtain. So... I'm going to make that a little smaller. I'm going to write here, new curtain by fabric. So then I'm going to make a mark here because I have to buy fabric. Okay. 
And with this one, I also had to do here, I'm going to do chalk paint. And I want to do a lot of black country look. So then the rod here, paint rod black, which I already brought it in the house for. And then the other rod that goes here, and I can undo. So this rod here would be the same thing. This. I'm going to remove this from up here and that I need. Okay, so I already have the paint. I need um, cutting clips, I have, and I have the paint. So I'm good with that. It's for this, it's going to do the same thing for that. I want to paint it black. This digitally makes it really easy for me to remember what is it that I have to do. I can visually see it in my notebook, you know, versus writing down because I have ideas in my head. And they're really simple ideas. Sometimes when you make lists, it seems like it's gonna take longer or more stuff to do. But when I see this like this, I can take one day to tackle one project, one day to do another project on this. So I need to go to the store and I buy a certain amount of fabric. So I need paint, which I already know that I have at home. So working your projects like this makes it go so much easier, I'm telling you. And then what happens is, as I do the project and that project gets done, all I do is I delete picture erase all my writing and now my my notebook is is blank for the next project and it works so well you save money on printing paper and printing pictures when you're able to do something like this that's what i have off the top of my head right now for the camper so as i go along i will do some other stuff so now what i'm going to do is whatever is in my project planner that i have to buy that I put a little star on i go into my wonder list which is a separate app that I use for lists or buying stuff. I had to interject this video because I just want to talk about before all of this starts, I skipped a crucial step, which is the planning and the collecting of all those little things that there are ideas in your head and you start looking. Let's compare it to like flipping magazines when you see you know, I like this color and I like the sofa and I like this and you start cutting out from the magazine. Well, that's in essence what you're going to do when you go to Pinterest. If you download the Pinterest app and you have get a Pinterest account, you can set up different boards. I have different boards for different things. Check out, by the way, my Simply RVing board because these are the things that start to give you ideas and everything starts to manifest after a while in your ideas. So let me explain what Pinterest is. Pinterest is a site where you can go and pretty much search for things on the internet and you can type in something like whitewash if I type in the word whitewash here on my computer you can see that everything that's related to whitewash that's on the internet comes up the great thing about it is you click on it you can go to the website and learn about it or you can also establish your own boards and boards are pretty much like filing cabinets so remember in the old days when we used to take magazines and you used to just rip them up and then put them inside a filing cabinet for some day project? In essence, the same thing with Pinterest. So now that you have your boards, whether you want to make them public or private, and once they're in my board, I know that all my ideas are in there. Then I go back, pull from there the most important ones, like a screenshot of that, that pin. Then I bring it into my GoodNotes app for my project and now I have in there exactly what I need it could be paint colors that I like of decor that I like projects that I might want to do just a whole bunch of different things that you can do in Pinterest this is where your ideas really start to come together I highly recommend that before you start a project like this or when you're doing a project like this you go to Pinterest and you start choosing and looking for things and ideas. That way you can know what stores to shop in, what kind of things you need. You may even be able to do a lot of this stuff with thr thrift store finds, especially if you're traveling on the road and you're going from here to there. You can have one day a week where you just visit thrift stores and you can do a lot of these projects in your, in your RV. You can paint vases, you can paint pottery, you can knit a rug, you can do needlework, you can make some pillows. I mean, it's pretty simple. You don't even need a sewing machine for that. By the way, I'll do a video on curtains in the future that I have planned. When you put those into your notebook, make sure you take notes in there of what are the things that you love the most about it. 
and you can write in there uh, the stores that you need to shop for to get those kind of looks. You can also write your budget in there, how much you plan on spending on different things, so you know which stores to go to to shop. You can put the phone numbers of the stores. If you're traveling across the country and you're doing a remodel at the same time that you are traveling, well, this is even easier for you because now you can find recommendations of stores. And when you get to that area, perhaps you find like some kind of like an RV swap shop or something or some kind of consignment that sells things a lot cheaper. Now your project notebook will have all that information. And when you get there, you'll know exactly what you need and you'll have the phone number and the address. And just it's just it's just so wonderful to have a notebook like this. Bringing all your ideas together is an awesome thing to do. Let's renovate some older RVs. Let's get out of debt. Let's fix them up. Let's make them the way that we like. We can bring life to them. We can put them back to good use. Let's save an RV today. Let's renovate. Yay! And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.